G'day, so you've probably just finished up creating your attachment fins on your lampshade. We have the center ring there which we did in the first video and the attachment fins we just did. Now we're going to go on to making the top and bottom rings for our lampshade. So to do these, it's pretty straightforward. I'll just show you them in the drawings. So I believe we are, this one here is our top ring. We'll just rotate it back so that we can see it more easily. There we go. So this is the first ring that we're going to do next. All right, so we've got some dimensions, a radius for the inner circle here, a radius for the outer one, and then the dimension for the little cutout there, which is the same as it has been on all the other parts so far, five millimeters deep, and three millimeters wide. So this is the next part we're going to do. So this again is the top ring. So going back to fusion there, like before, I'm gonna to need to start a sketch to work from. This time I'm going to hit Create Sketch, and rather than picking one of these planes down here, what I'm actually going to do is something a bit different. I'm going to select a little face here in one of my attachment fins. All right, That will put me looking directly down above it, and I'm going to be drawing on the bottom of that particular joint where it's going to join in. So I'm now looking at my sketch. So to start my sketch, in this case I'm going to use two circles, like we did in the um, attachment ring, so one, not too fussed about size yet, we'll add those in a minute, two. Alright, so I've got my two circles, let's have a double check the details of the sizes in the file here, so radius 74.02 millimeters. So let's start with that one, that's for the middle one. So we'll go dimension, D on the keyboard, select the ring, and I said there was 74.02, so we'll go 70. 4.02 multiplied by 2 because it's a radius we want to change its diameter so we must multiply it by 2 hit enter there's our inner ring let's go back to file here and for the outer circle 168.02 is the full diameter so hitting the d key on the keyboard again selecting that outer ring 168.02 enter and there's my inner and outer rings. Now is my last task, really quite an easy one, is just to create the little notches. All right. So to do that we are going to do that project geometry that we did earlier. So I'll just change my angle here. Oops. Let's try that again. View it from this angle here. And I'm going to project the geometry from this little cutout here so that I know where to start. So clicking sketch, clicking project, I'm just going to project that. I'll select OK. Now we'll swivel around back on to look at it from top. And as that is the cutout in that ring, we're going to do the opposite and we're going to remove this section here. So pretty straightforward. We'll select the two point rectangle for this, select one point of it, drag it out, Anywhere out here is fine, so to there we'll do just fine. And before we do anything else, we're going to remove the excess, so we'll hit the T key for trim. We don't want that line, that one, or that one, and that one there. So now we're going to use the pattern like we did on the center ring. So click and sketch, coming down to circular pattern. We're going to select the objects, which may be a little difficult to do. See if it'll let me. That object there, that one there, and that one there. I had to change my angle there, as you saw. All right. Select the center point, which is going to be the center point of my circles here. And rather than having only three copied, so that's one, two, three. What we're going to do is 48, which is a lot, but it's the correct amount. So there we go. 48 little objects like that. Click OK. It might take a couple of seconds, and there we go. We've made all those cutouts all around our object now. And if we check on those, they should be exactly 5 and 3. So let's give it just a double check on our dimensions. So well, we're a little bit more, 5.065, that's fine. I'm not too concerned about that. And as long as this one's 3, we're all good, and we are. Fantastic. So I won't worry too much about those now. Should cancel. So they're all dimensioned, we're all correct. 
Let's go back to our top view and we'll zoom out and if I double click, sorry, if I click on home and then I click on top, we we'll zoomed out a bit more. Now we need to do our extrusion on that ring there to create that part. So I'm going to change my angle again back to that home angle. I'm going to select my extrude tool. I'll select the profile I'm after, which is missing some bits there, so we've got to add those in as well. That part there, and there's two little bits, that one and that one. There we go, we've got all the parts we need now. Yep, that's correct. Good. We're going to extrude it again by three millimeters. So we'll just type three. We're going to, instead of joining, we're going to create a new component, like we have been so far. I'm only doing it in one direction because I had done it on the bottom of those slots. All right, so that's that done. Click OK, and we have that new component here. So like before, we'll rename that one. This one will be top ring. Hit Enter, and we're going to right-click it, change its physical material as well to that oak white. There we go. So there's our top ring, our attachment fins, and our center ring all completed. Now we need to do the next one, which is our bottom ring. So we'll just change our page on our drawing here. So this page here, again, you can see some of the dimensions. They're a little bit hard to see here, but three and five for the notch. Radius of 111.84, bit of an odd number there for the center here, and 243.67 for the outer. So going back to Fusion, start our new sketch just like we did just before. I'm going to zoom right in on the little one of these here. There we go. Zoom out again. Now before we go any further, we'll, we'll do that project include like we had to before. So we're just going to hit project, change our angle back to that home angle. Zoom in, and we want to project, it wants to let me, that, that, and that. So we'll need those when we come to do our circle, we'll hit OK. And back to our top view, moving it into the middle now. OK, so two more circles, so sketch palette, circle, pulling one out to about there. And one just within that one, about there, will be fine. And now we'll need to dimension those, so on here we'll just double check it. Middle one has a radius of 111.84. So on ours, hitting the D key for dimension, we'll select that inner circle. And as it's a radius, we need to double it, so 111 point, we'll just double check this before we can finish, 0 0.84, 0 0.84, multiplied by 2, because we're now doing diameter, hit enter. There we go. And the next one, we'll just double check as well, 243.67. So D key on the keyboard. 243.67. There we go. So that's the two rings of it. And now we just need to pattern around the little cutout that we're going to have in it. So let's do that as well. So you can see right now I've projected some of that onto there, so I'm just going to fix that. I'll use the rectangle again like I did last time and just pull it out to about there, that'll be fine. So we've got now got that little section there and it's looking a bit odd, but it will make sense later. So now we'll go ahead and do our trim. Trim, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, get rid of that one, and get rid of that one. There we go. Now I've only got that little section there. So next, change my view back to that home view so I can make sure I can select all the parts I need. I'm zoom in, sketch and pattern, like I've done before. I'm going to select that object there, that one there. Oops, there's the line there, and that line there. I'll just deselect that circle because we didn't mean to do that. We're doing the center point as the center of our circle. Okay, and we're going to make, again, 48 of those all around our entire circle there. We click OK. Take a couple of seconds, there we go. So we have all those notches now marked out on that sketch. Put it down from top view again. 
as you can see there. Now we need to do our extrusion, so clicking the extrude tool, selecting the profile, and you notice it hadn't quite picked up that little part in there, so we're just going to need to pick up that part as well. Zoom back out. So it's all, everything there is going to get extruded. Again, a distance of three millimeters. And rather than join, we're going to make a new component like we've done before. We'll click OK. All right, that's our new component there. As we have done with other parts, we'll change its physical material now. Make it the white oak. Click close, and we'll just change its name to bottom ring. There we go. So that's our lampshade so far. We've got the top ring, bottom ring, center ring, and the attachment bins. All right, hope you've been able to achieve, hopefully you've been able to achieve those two rings in this video, and you can move on to the next one. Thanks for watching.